Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi form builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the form notices that are displayed after users submit the forms you build with the Divi form builder. We won't be getting into too much detail here, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for other videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use all of these features. And don't worry if you get stuck. Just submit a support ticket and our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're ready, let's go. All right, so the Divi form builder gives you multiple locations where you can display your form notices. We're gonna get started here by jumping into this form here that I built earlier. When you scroll down into the form settings here, you'll notice the notices tab here. We're gonna expand that. And here, one of the first options is notice message display position. Before form title is what the default is. You can change it to after form title, before submit button, or after submit button. Let's just quickly move this down to before the submit button and we'll hit the save button right here. And then we'll see what that does on the front end. So you're on the front end, I'm gonna refresh my page and I'll just put in a arbitrary name here, test. Do you like bananas? Yeah, yeah. And there you go. We've got our form notice here right before the submit button. So as you can see, when you go into the settings again here, multiple spots available underneath the notices as to where you can position your form, super simple and easy to do, and can get really handy depending on the type of forms you are building. Success messages are a great way to let users know what the next steps might be after they've submitted a form on your site. And it's a great way and thing that you can utilize depending on the type of form that you're creating. Unfortunately, by default, Divi doesn't give you too many options in this, doesn't give you too many options in this space. So let's take a look at some of the things you can do with Divi Form Builder that you can't do with Divi. Now, jumping back in the back end of my site here, I've got my form settings open over here. I'm gonna scroll down back to the notices section. Now, what you notice here is that you have success message types. First one is text, so that is a plain text message, similar to the one that you'll find in the standard Divi contact form. And next up is a Divi layout option. And we'll take a look at that in one second. So let's look at the text version first. Now, if you leave it empty here, but it'll just show you the default message. But we can go ahead and type in something else like, well done, you monkey, for liking the bananas. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. We're gonna update. And now on the front end, we'll refresh the page. We'll type in just test for the name. We'll say, yeah, we like bananas. And there we go, our custom text success message displayed. Pretty awesome that you can do that. It does not come stock with Divi. So this is one of the flagship features within Divi form holder. Now, if we jump back in the back end of the site, I wanna show you the other option there. We're gonna go back in the form settings. We'll scroll down to the notices. And now we're gonna change this to Divi layout. Now, what this enables you to do is to use the standard Divi library to build out any layout you want and inject it on any of these locations that we covered a little bit earlier in this video. Now, I created a layout already in the library here and it's called Success Notice Overview. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go ahead and save the page. We'll jump in the front end and refresh again. We'll just go test. This time we say, no, we don't like bananas and hit submit. And there you go, a much more stylish version of a success message. And you can convey a lot of extra information here to the user. It's a really cool way to go ahead and just deliver more information to your clients in a more visually striking manner. And of course, you can position that anywhere if we come back here in the settings. Um, go in here, we'll scroll down to notices. And any of these positions, you can put that submit notification or that success message. So it just gives you a different way to convey information to the user in a more visually striking manner, like I mentioned before. Alrighty, so very similar to success messages, failed messages is another way that you convey additional information to the user once they've attempted to submit the form. Now, if we jump in the back end here, you'll see that there are a lot of similarities between the success and the failed messages. You'll see here on the failed, you also have the option for text, for plain text message or Divi layout. So you can use any layout in the Divi library to be displayed if there is a failed submitted form. Now, if we go down here, similar, you can just 
uh, modify the failed text message. So you can say, whoops, something went wrong. And then that would be displayed in the location that you specified or position up here. Now, one thing to note here that is very different is that you can add additional information. You can use the percent percent message percent percent text to display the specific error that happened. So you can use that either here in the plain text as I did, or you can use it in the layout that you created in the Divi library. So definitely take note of that and utilize that because you want your users to be armed with as much information as possible so that you can help them better troubleshoot their problems. And that's pretty much it, guys. We took a look at a bunch of the different features around the notices that are displayed to the users when submitting a form built with a Divi form builder. We looked at the types of messages that can be displayed, which is text or a Divi layout that you have in the Divi library. Now, we also looked at an operator you can use, the percent percent message percent percent, which conveys a little bit of extra information to the user about why their form might have failed to submit. Now, like I mentioned, we don't cover everything in this video, so definitely check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for more videos and articles relating to Divi Form Builder. But if you do get stuck, don't worry. Contact our support team and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible to help sort your issue out. And with that, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.